So, after showing you my gaming telly yesterday and giving you a quick glance at that thing, I thought I'd show you. Uh, oh, yeah, there's my Raspberry Pi. It's now online. Yay, I'll tell you more about that soonish. I thought I'd show you my other telly. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is. Uh, this is my other telly that I do actually sometimes use for gaming. It's... can you tell how big that is? There's my hand. It's little. It's black and white. It's a TV and radio. Um, very, very portable. And uh, we've gone out of focus. Um, radio. you got AM and FM. Uh, Yeah. Good lord. Okay. TV. I, I never quite work out do I want it on FM or whatever. I rarely manage to. Well, I mean, it, it's it's on the old analog system now. So uh, tuning in anything is. It's just not happening. Because everything's gone digital. I don't know if there are still any analog signals out there, but this thing's not going to pick them up on that aerial. Um, yeah, earphone socket. It will run off of an external power supply if you're very lucky. Can I even get any light on here? Yeah, you have to. You've got a little switch there to tell you whether it's running on batteries or external power supply. 12 volt. I can't make this run on any of the power supplies I've got. 12 volt DC, 1000 milliamp. Well, my my universal thing won't go anywhere near that. Um, vertical hold, brightness, contrast controls there. Aerial socket. Now, I don't know about wherever you live, but in the UK, aerial sockets don't look like that. So I have to have an adapter for it, which uh, looks like that. So you plug that in there. <laughs> Trying to do this whilst looking through the viewfinder is not easy. That goes in there. Is it even plugged in right? Can't tell, it doesn't, doesn't give you much indication of whether it's in. That plugs in there. And you plug the other end into what, whatever you like. In my case, usually my ZX81. Um, yeah. So, batteries. Oh. 10 C batteries. That's a lot of batteries. Though, to be fair, they do seem to last a long while. I've just put a new set of batteries in this for the first time since I bought it and I bought it about five years ago um, in Scarborough in Woolworth in Scarborough it was the first time I'd ever been there and it was the World Cup and the Grand Prix and I didn't want to miss either <laughs> so um, I bought this and watched them on the beach it was a lovely sunny day and a bit too sunny so I could not barely see what was going on on the screen and I, I hid under a blanket with this telly on a boiling hot day on Scarborough Beach on, on the South Bay? Can't remember which bay. Anyway, yeah, and people looked at me like I was weird. But what the heck? Um, and it served me well ever since on occasions that I've got computers that I just can't tune into on on these other bigger modern tellies with all their digital tuning and whatnot, you just can't beat a dial like that. So uh, yeah, it's out of date. It, you, you can't even watch TV anymore, barely. You can listen to the radio if you, you know, not fussy about sound quality. But for displaying old computers where colour doesn't matter, and like on the ZX81, it doesn't. Um, it's kind of handy. Yeah, okay, thank you for watching.